What is up, YouTube? This is Mikey B coming at you today with a deck profile for a deck that I'm currently running right now in the meta. Um, I am currently running Gravekeepers. This is my version of Gravekeepers, and I'm going to show you how it is. It's, um, I'm running one, uh, one Ocelopisca. Um, Earthbound Immortal Ocelopisca. I don't have Malefic Stardust Dragon. Um, I know they're like a dime a dozen, but I actually just, I don't, I don't have one, so. Currently, I'm running one Ocelopisca because the card is kind of, you know, kind of broke. You know, it can't be an attack target. It can attack directly. You need a field spell, which Necro Valley is there for, um. But when this is, like, removed from the field by, you know, destroyed by battle or by card effects or by removing it from the game, it blows up all your opponent's monsters and he takes 800 damage for every one. So it's, like, it's fucking boss. Um, so I use this card just because it's amazing. Next, two Spirit Reapers. Um, pretty much this is the non grave Keepers. I like Spirit Reaper, um... He's a good stall card until you can get your cards that you need. Um, I like dropping Spirit Reaper, and then, like, you know, they have to, like, use a resource, or they're just going to sit there and twiddle their thumbs. Twiddle their thumbs all day. At the moment, I only have two Gravekeepers Recruiters. Um, when I built this deck, I only had two. Um, I didn't have three. I tried to find a third yesterday for my friends, but they only had these two. So, um, recruiter, pretty much, is that when it's when it, what was it? When this card is sent from the graveyard, uh, when this when this when this card you control is sent to the graveyard, add one gravekeeper monster with fifteen hundred or less defense from your deck to your hand. So, pretty much. It searches out your descendants, um, your commandants, all that shit, and they're just amazing cards. I am going to be running three as soon as I can get it, but I still like running two. You know, two is not bad at all. Um, the next card, three, Gravekeeper Spy, 2,000 defense, 1,200 attack. You know, you play it phased out, it gets flipped. You can search for any Gravekeeper monster with 1,500 or less attack from your deck and special summon it. So you can either grab another Gravekeeper, uh, Spy, or you can grab any Gravekeeper you want. Like, really, like, this is awesome for Commodon because then you can sacrifice the Spy to blow up a card. It's just a really boss monster. Um, three... Three Descendants, um, pretty much discard this card, and then you get to search your deck for Necro Valley and put it into your hand. It's it's the way to search for Necro Valley, in other words. Boss, and then the Boss Monster, um, three Commandants, pretty much is you contribute one face-up Gravekeeper monster you control, except this card, destroy one card your opponent controls. So pretty much it has it's not a once for a turn effect and you can you can tribute as many as you want to blow up as many cards, so it's just fucking it's just boss. You play this and you're like, Oh shiz because Necro Valley gives all your gravekeepers five hundred attack and defense points. I think my favorite gravekeeper, um, one of my favorites, um, I run three gravekeeper as assailant. This card's too friggin' good. Um it, it's a two thousand with Necro Valley. And if Necro Valley is on the field, when this card declares an attack, you can select one face-up monster your opponent controls and change its battle position. So you attack, it changes its battle position. So if it's in defense mode, you change it to attack mode. If it's in attack mode, change it to defense mode. So it pretty much kills anything. Anything that you are having trouble with. And of course, the next monster, I'm running three Visionary. This card is amazing. I love this card. Um, you can normal you can normal summon this card by tributing one gravekeeper monster. This card gains two hundred attack for each gravekeeper in the graveyard. 
If this face card on the field will be destroyed, you can discard a Gravekeeper monster instead. It's really, it is the Gravekeeper's boss monster. It's like, I definitely run three. Um, it's just fucking too good not to run three. Um, you could probably bring it down to two. Like, if I was going to run Pot of Duality, I would probably run it down. Like, I I'm thinking about running Pot of Duality in the deck. So I'm thinking about dropping this to two. And then I'll probably drop a Spirit Reaper for two Pot of Dualities. But I really like Visionary, and that's what I'm running so far. Um, that's the monster count. For spells, we run Monster Reborn and Dark Hole, which is um, self-explanatory. Oh, yeah, and we also run one Heavy Storm. Um, people say about Heavy Storm not be, not to use, but I like Heavy Storm. I like opening up Heavy Storm, and if you don't have that many back row. But I think I might actually take Heavy Storm out because I might be running the more trap version. Of the deck, I found a trap version that runs a lot of back row trap hate. So I might replace Heavy Storm with Fiendish Chain, and then, you know what I mean? So it's like, but I heard someone tell me that they only run one MST in Dark Hole and uh, Gravekeepers. I run two MSTs. But I, I was told that you only run one and you don't even run Heavy Storm at all. So I I I like that idea a little bit. Um, so I might actually cut Heavy Storm and one of the MSTs to to uh, bring out because uh, I'm going to put in two Fiendish Chain in the deck. Just you know, so pretty much you have a lot of back row. Um, two Great Keepers Stell. It cannot be affected by the effect of Necro Valley. And it allows you to select up to two gravekeepers in your graveyard and put them into your hand, so it recycles your grave your gravekeepers. I was running three, now I'm running two. Three Necro Valley Field spell. All gravekeeper monsters gain five hundred attack and defense points. Cards in either player's graveyards cannot be removed from play. Cards in either player's graveyards cannot be affected by card effects except by their own effects. And then for traps, we run two torrential tributes, self-explanatory, two bottomlesses, self-explanatory, three dimensional prison, because it is the best trap card in the game. And then I run three rites of spirit, which is pretty much the trap version of Monster Reborn for Gravekeepers. Um... But that's the deck, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And this is Mikey B saying, "Peace out." Please, please subscribe and smash that like button. Like that like button. See you guys later.